Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly energy reading for the week of September the 13th to the 19th, 2020. My name's Anya Briggs. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm a psychic medium. I don't use any divination tools. It's just me, myself, and I and my guides. I'm a clairvoyant. I'm all the clairs. Too much to go into here. You can check out my about page on my website. Links down below if you'd like to hire me for a session. Find out more about me on my about page or have any frequently asked questions you'd like to ask and feel free to contact me to set something up if this resonates with you if you feel you're at a crossroads right now with this issue that I'm going to discuss shortly without any further ado like share comment and subscribe if this applies to you or a loved one someone you care about feel free to share absolutely it does help to get the message out thank you very much Capricorn Theme for the week, bits and pieces. Phrases like whispers, rumors, you can't quite tell because it feels piecemeal. More later, details are fuzzy. It's all coming back to me, but only partially. Feels like these phrases connect Capricorn. Um, other phrases, down a well, a rabbit hole, or a rabbit snare. Like, could be any and all of the above this week. There's a feeling of getting involved with the wrong crowd or even a feeling of waking up after a heavy night of partying in somebody's who you don't recognize as bed and thinking, oh no, what have I gotten into? <laughs> like there's this fuzzy feeling of um, Oxycontin or other drugs may be involved. I feel like one or more of you may have gotten involved with an opioid addict and you just found out. Um, some of it is bewildering, like, how did you get this? Meaning, like, how did I not know that you were doing this? Where in the hell did you get this? I didn't see any bottles anywhere. I didn't see any packets. They're sneaky like that, like the hiding the things. And not even know he or she was using the entire time. Like some of you even still might be making excuses for this person. Don't, I'm getting him. So it's a masculine energy primarily, but don't, do not make excuses for this person's using. I heard, but I think that's my guy's way of saying, looks can be deceiving. Um, their phrase was, your looks will deceive you. So I don't know if that's like literal, like the way you look might be deceiving or just literally looks can be deceiving. So there might be a play on words with the play on words for the phrase. Uh, the feeling is an ice cold bucket of water that just got dumped on your head. Uh, it's a chilling feeling. Sweetheart, you are a codependent. That's what I'm getting. And um, whether you're the user or have uncovered this dark truth, you have been served an awakening. And this could be a catalyst. Um, like an ultimate wake up call moment, if you let it, it is a clarion call from the gods, they are saying, and it's up to you to answer it. If you want to, I understand the shock. If this is happening, I used to house and feed and cl literally clothe a person like him once. And it was quite the shock to turn around and see how he literally resented me for helping him, if that makes any sense. What I was actually doing was enabling him. So yes, I do in fact know what I'm talking about. I was enabling him to allow me to keep helping him because I had an addiction that was thrust upon me at a very early age to helping people, neurotically of course, or else it was heavily punished if I didn't. So it was kind of like drummed into me that you have to, or else, you know, it wasn't like I chose to do it or I wanted to. Because my mother was addicted to helping as well. And as such, she attracted a lot of broken people. Um, it wasn't fun. I would implore you, ladies and gentlemen, if this applies to you this week, to ask yourself if this is helping or hurting? Is it masking behavior by helping? Because if it is, uh, it's hurting. 
So Alcoholics Anonymous came up with the term codependent, and I'm not gonna go too much into it here you, for brevity, but you really should um, look up the term if you're not familiar with it already, at least on Wikipedia or something. And my guides are saying, if you suspect what I'm saying is true and you can't bring yourself to see it, uh, just the definition of the term, still, even after all that, that might be a sign that you are a true codependent. It is an addiction designed to help people avoid p feeling pain. That's what your addiction is. And, um, but what it does is actually the opposite. Codependence, while upholding lies and painful realities for people by telling them what they want to hear, by people pleasing and looking the other way and not saying anything when seeing objectionable behavior, by doing all of that, <clears throat> they allow the addict to, to continue playing games with themselves about their reality by letting them off the hook about their behavior. And by so doing, prolong the addict's torture. It is torturous being an addict, make no mistake but to prolong agony prolongs the opportunities for a cure, for recovery, for the both of you. I know it's pointless to go on about this when someone is in the wake of a full-blown addiction. I'm talking about you, not the opioid addict. But hey, I'm leaving a message from the messengers. If this is not the famed rock bottom that addiction specialists talk about that is necessary and needed for addicts to recognize they have a problem, then suppose, I suppose there's always the next time, um, but you have a problem, uh, you need help, and links down below for more if you wanna hire me to help you find um, a therapist, you wanna help me help you uh, figure out some truths about the karmic patterns in your life perhaps that maybe we're generating through generational abuse and trauma in your family or even past life energy. Yes, I go there, I'm not afraid of it. I can pick up on energy, that's what I do. Everything is energy, sweethearts. And you are providing the means for denying people the chance to have authenticity by your addiction. So people pleasing is an addiction. It's a compulsive neurotic thing that's conditioned in early childhood, but it's your responsibility as an adult to break the cycle. Cause you don't wanna make life harder for other people and you don't wanna make life harder for yourself. And that's what people pleasing and codependency is. And um, we are here to break the cycle, ladies and gentlemen. And that's your reading for this week, Capricorn. I hope you stay sane, stay healthful, do good things for yourself, for your body, mind, and spirit. And I wish you wellness. Amen, Adonai, amen, all is one, all is God. Many blessings to you, and I will speak to you later. Bye-bye.